we just sort of think about like countdown uh, and like imagine why not but like like channel a little bit like imagine uh, Michael Gove was trying to channel Stormzy as well <laughs> like so so <laughs> So, so if you could, you know, I don't know how, what that sounds like musically. Claim, blame, counter shame, counter shame, claim, blame, blame, blame. It's all about shame. It's all about shame, isn't it? Claim, blame, counter shame, counter blame, counter blame. Name, game, name, game, counter blame. It's all about blame. Fact check. Fact check that. Counter fact, counter that, clap, slap, smoke and bluster, cloaked and flustered, game. It's all about game, it's just a game, it's all about game, it's just a game, 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 it's all about me. It's all about me, let's talk about me, it's all about me, let's talk about me, let's talk about it's actually really about listening, it's about really, really listening. It's about listening, it's about really listening to me, 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 listening to me, 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 I wanna listen to me. Talk about me, talk about me. What dirt can we fling today? What dirt can we fling today? How can we claim our racism is ironic? I set trends and dim man copy. Even their banter wears blackface. I mean, can you fact check that, please? Fact check your blackface banter, please. Can you fact check the Piccadilly comments? You know, those watermelon smiles, you know, the letterbox ladies, the children raised by single mothers as ill raised, ignorant, aggressive, and illegitimate. Can you fact check that? The Grenfell victims' lack of common sense. I mean, it's just a lack of common sense if you're in a building that's burning. I mean, you just get out, it's just common sense. Can you fact check that? Is this leadership language? Is this leadership language? Is this, is this compassionate language? Is this compassionate language hiding behind that smirk? You know, that wink, that smirk, that doctored clip, that fake news, fake views, fake views. Uh, mirror, mirror on the feed. Who is the best at hiding greed? Spend! It's all about spend! It's all about spend! It's all about spend! Lend a hand! It's all about men! It's a man talking about men, lending to men! Other men, it's all men making plans for greatness. It's all about getting the job done. It's about getting getting the job done. It's about getting the job done. Okay, let's fact check. Let's fact check. Fact check. The banks caused the crash. Can you fact check that? Uh, the people paid the bill. Can you fact check that? Can you fact check that? Yeah. Police numbers you promise will only replace the ones you've cut. Can you fact check that? You know, local council budgets cut by 49%. Can you fact check that? Food bank use up by 73%. Can you fact check that? Can you fact check that? Yeah, yeah. So a thousand sure start nurseries cut. Can you fact check that? Can you fact check that? 478 libraries closed, 600 youth centres closed, 500,000 more children in poverty. That's half a million children in poverty than when you came to power. Can you fact check that, motherfucker? Can you fact check that? According to so this is like less poem, more rant. I just wanted to put a bit of... a little bit of statistics in here. So. According to the Tax Haven Index, ranking countries by their complicity in global corporate tax avoidance, the top three countries are all British territories. British Virgin Islands, Bermuda and the Cayman Islands. The UK is responsible for over a third of the world's corporate tax avoidance. Our little island. Can you fact check that? According to the Tax Justice Network, and est hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, just bring that around. This is not poem, this is me rant, right? According to the Tax Justice Network, an estimated $500 billion in corporate tax is dodged each year globally by multinational corporations. $500 billion. And the UK is responsible for a third of that. Can you fact check that? Let's go one step further. According to the UN, the World Food Programme and the International Fund for Agricultural Development we could eliminate world hunger from the planet for $267 billion a year. That is just over half of the amount of corporate tax. Not tax that you and I and just everyday people like maybe still owe. That's the 
just, just the companies, half of the tax that they are dodging could eliminate world hunger. World hunger. The whole planet. The whole planet could eat. And weirdly, like, over the last sort of 13 years, 40,000 jobs have been axed in the HMRC. So it's just not possible to collect the tax because there aren't enough people employed to collect the tax. Can you fact check that? Can you fact check that? 